All right, let me read this to you. The reason I do this is so you can hear it for yourself. You know, a lot of people have never really heard the Bible, and especially some parts of it. We got a lot of Bible clickers. You know, they jump through it and verse here, verse there. You got to read your whole Bible. I mean, spend some time with the Lord. That's what it's about. I just enjoy reading his word. Art thou a master of Israel, knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up to the up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. Listen to that. Listen to that very carefully. Came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. This is Jesus talking to you. How can he be on earth and in heaven too? But he's God, right? Come on now. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, should not. See, your, your, your new version will say shall should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. And that's why I spend my day for the Lord. Folks, my day doesn't consist of anything for me. Give yourself to the Lord. Too many people are in, you're into television. You got that favorite program. You can't put down the beer bottle. You're still smoking cigarettes. You're still worldly. You're carnal. You still like all the worldly things. You still dress like the world. You want to look like everybody else. You're worried about what you look like. Nobody's going to Bible. Bible. See, we don't know. We're, we, we don't have the mind of God. We don't understand God's ways. We're men. We're flesh. We're broken. We're sinners. We're evil. We don't know what's righteous or what's right. We have to get it from Bible. And that's why we read all the time. That's why the Old Testament is so important. We look back and we can say, okay, we know what the New Testament, we need to be righteous and holy. And this is how we're going to do it. God bless you. We love